Alright, back again. Here we go. With the paella dish. And jazz. We have a few mussels here we're going to throw in. The reason I only have a few mussels is because nobody else in my house eats them but me. My wife has promised to eat a couple of them, but outside of her eating a couple, I'm the only one. Alright? So this is what I'm going to do. Quickly. Check it out. Oven is preheated at, let's say, 375. All right. Sauteed. I have some shrimp and scallop steamed in here, okay? With some lemon juice, all right? Over here, I got steamed yellow Spanish rice. See if the if I can fog up the it won't fog up. Alright. So steamed yellow rice. What I'm gonna do real quick, I'm gonna put it into the clean saucepan or dish pan. Spanish rice here. Seasoned rice, mind you. Alright, after that, I'm going to throw in my steamed shrimp and scallops. Now, mind you, I steam this with butter, a tad bit of garlic, and some seasoning salt. And the juice that's left from this, left from the, uh, the steam, I'm gonna pour it in here, and I'll tell you why. The reason being, I'm gonna put my mussels on top, which haven't been steamed yet, so that when I throw this in the oven, the marinade or juice from this steams the mussels, and the mussels will open up, all right? Um, mix this up in the pan. I expect all my boys to learn to do this for whoever they take on as women. And I expect my daughters to get men who know how to do this as well. Though we are king of the household, we know how to make it happen, right? All right, so check this out. Green peas, frozen, not fresh. The reason I say frame frozen is because with a little bit of water from them being frozen will also allow my muscles to steam. Put my green peas. That will also make sense. If you only knew how this tastes, man, folk from the south. You only know. Growing up north, man, we are fortunate enough to grow up in such a diverse community that we get to taste a number of different, a number of different type of cookings, man, and meals. Be it Jamaican, this is actually a Spanish dish. Here we go. Check it out. Fresh lemon. Place my muscles on here neatly. Put 
doesn't take much for muscles to open, trust me. You can practically blow your breath and muscles open, so it doesn't take much for muscles to open. And as you know, you can actually eat these raw. You can open them up with a knife and actually eat them, so it doesn't take much. Check this out. Man, it makes it happen. What? Check this out. This is what it looks like. I'm going to show you. Let me pick this up here. Alright, check this out here. This is without the, the muscles on top in there. So what you got down in there is you got a lot of scallop and shrimp in there, man. All of that juice is about to steam off of there in the oven. Sit in the oven for a good... However long, you know, me, I'm sitting here for about 15, 20 minutes. In the beginning, I'm not even going to put a top on it because I want some of that to steam off. So, sit it in here. Yeah. And that's it, man. We got pie. Wish you guys could be here to taste it. Unfortunately, you can't. That's it. Peace.